Well, howdy. I'm Luke Reilly, and this is Jack Wright, and this is Reilly Wright Leather Co. We have the Super Swatter to give a demonstration on today, and why did we create it? So I'm going to turn the camera over to Jack. He's the one that developed it back in 1984. I'm going to let him talk to talk about it. Yeah, I invented the Super Swatter probably it's in 1984, to be exact, and I'll tell you why I did. I was in my saddle shop, and I had a wasp show up in there. You know how those pesky little critters fly in from time to time, and I'm trying to do some detail work there, and here comes this pesky little wasp. And so I decided to grab my cheap store-bought fly swatter, you know the kind that's got the screen on the end. I don't have one with the screen to show you now, but this in here is not too much better. It's starting to fall apart. But anyway, the screen on the end, uh, unfortunately, when I wound up to take care of this uh, wasp that was in my shop making such a nuisance of himself, the screen ended up on the object that I actually hit, and uh, I ended up with just the wire. And can you picture how effective just a wire is going to be against the wasp that is so uh, irritated at this moment? So I decided, well, you can't buy nothing when you really depend on it to hold up. So I went over to my leather bin and I grabbed a piece of some leather that was just kind of about the right thickness and wrapped it around the leather end and riveted it on there just to make something kind of quick. I even punched a few holes in it to make it look authentic. And then I went uh, wasp hunting. And it wasn't long until that wasp was history. And thus began the era of the super swatter. So, this is the current model of the fly swatter, the super swatter. Um, back in 1984, Jack riveted the handles on, or the, the handle to the fly swatter, but right now we don't do that anymore. And the reason why we don't do that is that uh, I've actually taken one and put a rivet that we would have put them on back in the day. Um, say your fly lands on a $10,000 grand piano and you swing back and, and smack it. Okay? Because what that does, it puts a dent in your piece of furniture or a priceless piece of art or your piano. And so although it makes it easier to, to fashion and form the fly swatter with a rivet, um, it's, it's, it's much more dangerous for your, for your household. So we don't do that anymore. We, uh, we sew them all by hand and then we, we, we don't put the rivet anymore. It takes a little bit longer to build. Um, these things are built by hand right here in Council, Idaho. We don't sub any of the work out to China or any place like that. So um, it is American made. Um, it's one of those things where um, we, we inspect every single one before we like to turn it out. And so when you get it and when it shows up at your door, the product is gonna last really well. But if it has a wood handle, um, those wood handles can also dent the side of your um, TV or whatever you're, you're smacking. Um, you wanna stay away from anything that has any hard point that can engage what you're, sm what you're swatting. So what can you what can you actually swallow these things? Anything from cockroaches to mosquitoes, anything in between. If you really walk, um, wind up and you're gonna kill a co cockroach, those things can um, go through a nuclear ho holocaust and still survive. So you're gonna have to really swing back and hit them. So you got to hit them hard, right? Now I just engage that really hard. That's enough to kill a cockroach. Um, there's no damage to the fly swatter whatsoever, and so they will last really well. And for that, I'll ask Jack to say a little story about one. Yeah, we. Uh have been like I say mentioned we've been building these things for over 30 years and and uh, I was down visiting with my sister here not too long back and I thought I'd bring her a new fresh one because I knew she'd had a couple of them for quite a few years and she had this one that you could definitely tell it was had some signs of wear on it but it was still very functional and uh, I tried to trade her out of it so that I could have it for our museum piece for something that's been survived 30 plus years of swatting bees and flies and mosquitoes and everything else and anyway, she wouldn't part with it. She said, absolutely not. I'm going to keep that thing. And uh, so anyway, I gave her another new one just for the sake of uh, providing her with another new one that's a little fresher and updated, like uh, Luke was saying here, without the rivets and, and those things. But at any rate, they've been very effective. She would not part with it. And uh, they are guaranteed. If you can wear one out, then we will just give you another one to make sure you're happy. Pick one up. Um, you'll be impressed by the, by the workmanship of it. We also use a, a high-grade leather in it. The dye is not going to come off on your furniture. So, um, yeah, you can also be, stand assured that that's not going to happen. So, at this price point, every room in your house is going to need one. So, say you're, the fly sw swatter is clear in the, the kitchen, but you're in the living room or the den, and you can't get to it. So, at this price point, you pick up a few of them, put them in every room of the house. Put them in your garage, put them in your RV, in your workshop. Um, they'll, they'll serve you for many years to come. Christmas, is, Christmas and birthdays are coming up. They work really good for gifts. Um, I've, I've um, made really high-end works of art with leather leather bags and that kind of thing. It'd take me five days to make them. 
and lay this right next to it. People will come up, not even look at the bag, pick up the fly swatter and go, a leather fly swatter. And so it's, it's very sort of a curious thing to hang in your, in your kitchen, wherever. Um, some, something that's kind of fun to hang on the wall. Um, sort of a priceless work of art, if you will. Um, and it will kind of grow old with you. And so after 30 years, um, as Jack said, you know, we do, we do guarantee them. So um, if, if something fails on you, we'll, we'll send you another one. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>